Let's talk about the integral test. Suppose function f is a continuous positive and decreasing function for x greater than or equal to 1, and let a sub k equal f of k for k equals 1, 2, 3, so on and so forth. Then our sum and our integral do the same thing. They either both converge or they both diverge. Let's go ahead and see this with a visual. Here we have our function f of x, we have our sums, and we have our integral. On the left, we are using the right Riemann sums in order to estimate the area under the graph. So we have the sum from k equals 2 to infinity of our terms. In the middle, we have our actual integral, which finds the actual area underneath the curve from 1 to infinity. And then on the right, we have our left Riemann sum, so we have the sum from k equals 1 to infinity of a sub k. We have the right Riemann sums underestimates the area under the curve, and the left Riemann sums overestimate the area under the curve. So if the area is infinite or the integral diverges, this tells us that our actual series is also going to diverge because it's an overestimate of that. Now if our area is finite so it converges, well that tells us that our underestimate is also going to converge. Now the only thing we're missing here is the first term a sub 1, but that's going to be a finite number. So this tells us that our series still converges.